coming to hear about the opening of Roar. Uh, we are so excited about building a festival that's bringing almost 50 partners together. We think that's still building, so we'll soon be saying over 50 partners. Um, and also just want to say um, uh, happy AAPI Heritage Month. Yay! Yay! Right? What a way to start. I'm Melissa Ossie. I'm the CEO of University Settlement. And University Settlement forges partnerships with neighbors on the Lower East Side in Brooklyn, over 40,000 people a year to build stronger communities. We do this, we were established in 1886 as the first settlement house in the United States, and we bring the values of that movement into the 21st century by fighting poverty and inequality with programs and advocacy, by working with all ages from newborns to elders, and by making sure that every single person in the community has what they need, all the basics, all of us need food, shelter, education, community, arts, and each other. That's what we do at the Settlement House. The last few years have been extremely hard on this community and all communities in New York City. With the hardship and heartbreak that we have all experienced, uh, which has been further, uh, further exacerbated by economics, and further exacerbated by the racism and white supremacy that this country still just cannot get away from. Roar is meant to address all of that. What we need is each other. We need community. We need to come back out of isolation, and Roar is part of that. This neighborhood has always been welcoming. It has been welcoming of people from all over the United States and all over the world. It has been welcoming to radical and new ideas, it has been welcoming to innovative institutions and inclusive arts and inclusive music and inclusive cultures. We cannot give up on that kind of community. We will not give up on hope and the belief in each other. So it's time for us to come together. ROAR stands for Rejoice, Organize, Activate, Reclaim. And it's also a celebration of the Year of the Tiger. We need to walk together, exercise together, make art together. We need to learn together and grow together. We need to roar together collectively to bring our community back. The number one thing we want people to know from this press conference is that everyone is welcome. This festival is built for everyone in the community, people of all ages, people of all walks of life. So bring your friends and family, tell your neighbors, tell your friends from Brooklyn to come on over, tell your friends from the Bronx to come on down. Come on. <laughs> um, we're going to have all sorts of exercise classes, art making classes, traditional Chinese music every Saturday, ballroom dance, I want to do that, performances from a wide variety of New York City artists, Tai Chi, self-defense, and so, so much more. Our website, which is roarwithus.nyc, went live on Friday. It's gorgeous. And as of now, everything in May is on there. As of June 1st, everything for the whole summer will be on there. So please come back often to the website to see what's new. We're going to be building it all summer. Um, we've been very thoughtful about how to rejoice, organize, activate, and reclaim our public spaces. And I think if you walk through SDR Park, which is a park that we love, and have been part of the SDR Park Coalition for, I don't know, 20,000 years or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> there is much more to do in this park. This park needs a little bit of love. Our communities need some love and connection. And we hope that part of what we do this summer is also advocate for the things we need. I'm so happy to welcome our Manhattan Borough Parks Commissioner here today. I know he has all of our permits in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so thankful to have Councilmember Marte and Borough President Levine here, all of our partners, um, especially our partners from the CACF Coalition and the Asian American Federation, um, true leaders in the effort to get the funding for this uh, festival and for much, much more in our communities. Special thanks to our Assembly Member Yuli Nu, who was a champion for the funding that is supporting this. Um, and just thank you to the ROAR team, the University Settlement team, and all of you for coming out today. I appreciate it. I just want to say this is making a big bet on us. This is making a big bet on Jane, um, Jane Jacobs' argument that to make a place safe, you have to activate the neighborhood, right? That's what we're doing. We're activating our neighborhood to come back. Um, and so this is a big bet that we're placing on the power of all of us.